think Wiggly just signed. Didn't he just sign that three-year contract for? Good, he can finish the rest of it in academy. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see. Yeah, but how how going. how do those contracts work? They're they're all slated to be favored towards the org, right? Like the org can just. No uh, man, there's some like fucked up not contracts, always. dude. I I would say you know? in Wiggly's case, I'd right. imagine that that one is slated towards the org. I don't think at the time that they signed him, at the time they signed him, it was probably the height of Wiggly's success, but it wasn't massive he wasn't a superstar he was a rising star that they wanted to lock down so therefore i think uh in that case it's probably hey you get paid maybe half of the salary uh ha- half of your payment right if we if we cut you early however much that's left over so there are ways that you can design contracts that not all the money is guaranteed and a player only signs that if they you know one have negotiating power and a good agent that recognizes they should be get as much money as they can if they're cut early. Um, Mm -hmm. Maybe there's clauses for trades. There's clauses for when they move down to Academy, if they move down to Academy. Uh, And that's usually for like a middle of the road player. If you're a superstar, you get to kind of dictate the terms and it's, it's, it's a painful, painful process for the managerial side. (laughs) There's, there's some contracts that I've heard about that are like super, super fucked up in terms of like, you have players that are imports that have guaranteed starter clauses wrote into their contracts, meaning that as long as they're part of the team, they cannot not start. So um, in spring, this was something that, that Froggen actually had. There was no way DeMonte could have played. <laughs> like he had a guaranteed starter clause in his contract. And this is allegedly from people that are, you know, formally with the org or like people that have been, uh, you know, associated Ooh, with Dignitas. What the f- Okay. But that's a thing. Like guaranteed starter is a thing for certain players in NA. Yeah, man. I mean, you can put anything you want in that contract. It's like, hey, before every game, I'm gonna get me twelve chicken nuggies. Otherwise you're breaching the contract and you owe me all my money. Like I mean, you could put anything in there. But uh yeah. guaranteed starter sounds stupid. <laughs> I don't know why an org would do that. Actually, I know why. So if this is, let's go down this road. If this is a Dignitas thing, at the time, Dignitas was in the, in the middle of that, that shift, right? They're going from Clutch Gaming uh, to uh, Dignitas. And the general manager, we talked about it last season. I'm not sure if you remember, Dom, where the general manager is a guy that came from HOTS, Heroes of the Storm. He was one of the best Heroes of the Storm players yeah, of bakery. all time. Bakery, correct. Uh, and he moved from that role into the general manager role for Dig and gets like plopped into the team in the middle of contract negotiations and you're losing your roster. And I'm sure there was probably like, hey, you can't talk to them yet or they're focusing on Worlds. Plus, Worlds delayed the conversations with people. So in the scramble, they probably were just at the mercy of the market rather than being set up at the market with all the different contacts. And probably why, uh, yeah, probably why DeMonte ended back up there in spring in the first place. Uh, Mm -hmm. That makes sense, right? Yeah, I mean, but that's that's like the thing. People were like, wait, why didn't DeMonte ever get one game? I mean, he's like a middle of the pack LCS mid laner. That's how I see him. Maybe some people think he's better, worse, whatever. My view is he's like a middle of the pack mid laner. How come when Froggen was struggling, he never got any shots at all? Well, you got guaranteed motherfucking contracts out here. So, <laughs> like, that that's just a thing that, that it's not just Froggen either. Like, there are, but there are other players who, like, can underperform. And I think that it could be split to split where, like, the guarantee can end. But at least, like, spring split, you had a lot of players that were on guaranteed contracts where they just get to play the entire split no matter what. Uh, is this is this a thing, uh, LS in in Korea? Have you have you seen this or heard this before in no. the Korean system Cor- or any other system? So the Korean system's really weird. It's way better than well, the Korean system is both better and worse than yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, anything but no, maybe China. Korean bias is yeah, I was no, like no, no, no. I was like we just switch one out for the other one. You get more Korean bias just without All any right. facts backing it up. <laughs> All right. So a lot of. A lot of Korean teams have up to four to five teams underneath the main team. Um, and uh, they have different like levels of those teams. So some of them are in-houses and some of them are online-only trainees. And then some of them participate in like localized tournaments. Um, and uh, one of the speculations that was happening last year and even this year is a lot of uh, starter players are actually afraid to 
try to play aggressive or take trades in lane and like other stuff because if they keep losing and they get blamed, there's too many trainees. So they're afraid <laughs> to lose their uh, their starting position. Um, and it's it, it created this really weird thing and that got leaked out through a conversation um, that was held amongst like various players with someone inside of the Korean scene. Um, yeah. And obviously that's that's what Korea deals with, is that there's actually too many good players. Um, yeah, same and, here. But I don't think that... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, too many, yeah. Um, so I think it, Korea, it, it, it's a little bit different, but no, I've never heard of any guaranteed starter. I mean, we've had historically Faker get bench, right? right um, in right. LCK at one point. Uh, so, so that's happened. We've had some of the elite Easy. players get benched. Easy who? Sorry, just in case people didn't know. Because we do have viewers that don't have... Perian, too. Oh, yep. God, that's right. Perian. The, the, yeah, the, the last bastion of Envy, Team Envy, Envious, whatever they were called. Perian did good. He got And, and Phoenix won as well. Uh, Perian was a good boy. Uh, but yes, Faker got benched a couple times, just in case anyone yeah. didn't know that. Summit got benched at one point for a, a guy named Lonely that, I, I, I don't know, uh, it was like an... Atrox one trick that didn't really do much. We we've had other yeah. um benchings in in Korea for sure. Yep. That are pretty big. Maybe they should get on the guaranteed contract hype. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Run it down. Yeah, instead yeah. Faker just got a chunk of the organization. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I take that. I would take that. Uh, Sounds good to me. All right, so we talked a uh, decent about about contracts and maybe a little a uh, contract styles not one